guys, how's it going? Andy here, back with another pickup video for you guys. So everything I have is from eBay, uh, Boys and Girls Club, Oh My God Thrift, Cybertron, and Bright Light Books. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna start off with something that's kind of odd, and that's this Apple Wi-Fi. It's called the Airport Base Station. Uh, this is one of the older, older models back in like the early 2000s. So that's the only reason why I picked it up. And it kind of looks like a UFO. That's another reason why I picked it up. Uh, it was like five bucks. It was 100% complete well, without the box, but that's the only reason why I picked it up. I mean, it matches my old Mac that I have over in this corner that you guys cannot see. So I picked that up. Now I did get some books, nothing too exciting, but got some pretty cool stuff. So I got Great Unsolved Mysteries, because why not? I got, this one's actually really cool, Grimm's Fairy Tale, so that's super awesome, pretty excited for that. Uh, I picked up Holes, which I already have, but my friend Kyle, I was like, hey, do you want uh, a copy of Holes? And he was like, sure. So, got that for him. Uh, got Animorphs, not really a big Animorphs fan, but two for 25 cents, I can't really beat it. Now, the rest of these are like coloring books, but I only bought this little package for three of them. Uh, it's like I said, it's a stack of just like coloring books. It was like four bucks, so got The Lion King, got United States Postage. Sure, that's cool. Got Mulan, got The Lion King's Animals All Around. We got a Rugrats. This is a sticker book, so that's, I guess, kind of cool. But the main reason why I picked this up, like I said, it's like four bucks, was for these last three, and that's these Pokemon Tattoo Series books, uh, coloring books. They're basically brand new. They have all the tattoos in them, which is dope. And yeah, so I've seen a set of these sell for like 15 bucks on eBay, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, it's the whole reason why I picked up this coloring book thing. Next up, we have some movies. Not too many. Uh, only two VHSs. Surprisingly, actually. I'm beginning to be very, very picky about my VHS selection. So, uh, I just picked up these two. Back to the Future 2 and 3. Uh, I've never actually seen Back to the Future. Uh, I did not say that. You, what? Huh? So I already have Back to the Future 1, so I figured I'd just pick up 2 and 3. So this way I can watch them, see what all the hype is. Now DVD wise, I got some pretty good ones. I got <laughs> this one is uh, weird. <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. And that is Poultry Geist. Not to be confused with Poultry Geist. This is a trauma film. It is ridiculous. It's also a musical. It's just fucking weird. And it was only it was twelve bucks. So why not? I have I have an illegal copy of it. Now I have the official to this special egg edition copy of it. But if you know anything about trauma, all their movies are pretty weird. Uh, they're best known for the Toxic Avenger, which is actually really good. If you've never seen that, definitely check it out. Next up, we have Pumpkinhead. So this is one of my favorite just horror movies in general. I just, I don't know, I just really like it. You're scared of shit of me as a kid, so yeah. Pumpkinhead. There is also only $8. Not gonna complain about that. Next up we have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So why did I get them? Because I don't have them and they are great. Not as good as Star Wars. Just throwing that out there. I like Star Wars more. In case you were wondering, but these are great, and they're the widescreen, and they're also only two dollars a piece. Got them from Oh My God Thrift, and uh, yeah, so pretty dope. Hundred percent complete. They have hundred percent complete. <laughs> what? Uh, they have all their stuff. So little booklets and all the discs are in really good shape. So two dollars a piece for awesome movies. Why not? Then we have Dante's Peak, which I have on VHS, but. It's a good movie. I really enjoy it. I know some people aren't really a big fan of it, but I think it's good. So, got that. Then, I got Dragon Ball Z Great Saiyan Man Opening Ceremony. 
so the case is a little jacked up and fully closed all the way, but I'm not, I don't really care about that. But, uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z. Always have, always will. Now on for the games. So for the 3DS, I picked up Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I've been wanting to play this, uh, I just haven't picked it up. Got it for, actually I got it for free because at Cybertron, if you fill up your card, uh, like they have a punch card, fill that up, you get $20, a $20 game for free. So got this for free, which is cool. Uh, from, actually I got quite a few games from Oh My God Thrift, so I'm going to put those all together. Also from Cybertron, picked up Super Mario Sunshine because it's a great game. And last time I played it, I got, I played it for like four or five hours. I didn't have a memory card for my GameCube. I was like, I'm just not gonna finish it. So I just turned it off, sold it, and uh, yeah, now I got it back. Then also from Cybertron, I got Destroy All Humans 2, which is a great game. Is it as good as the first one? Eh, that's up for to be. I still think it's really good. Then the last game I got from Cybertron is Xenophobe. So for the NES, never played it. I heard it was good. Actually, I have no idea what it's about. Uh, it just looks cool and says Xenophobe. So that's why I picked that up. So I was checking out from Oh My God Thrift and I noticed that they had like three stacks of games, like three tubs of games just stacked up. I was like, hey, yo, let me see that. Not really. I was like, hey, uh, are those games? This was after I checked out too. She's like, yeah, do you want to look at them? I'm like, yeah, I'll take a look. Got some pretty good games, not gonna lie. So I got, uh, oh, they're all $4 a piece, which isn't the best price ever, but I was happy to pay these prices for these games. So I got Batman Arkham Asylum for PS3. Never actually played the Batman games. So yeah, I <laughs> uh, got Wolfenstein The New Order, which is pretty cool. I've been wanting to play that. Then got a couple Wii games, got Resident Evil, for Wii edition, which I had, got rid of it because I, I I just did. No, no reason. Got Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Know nothing about that game. It looks pretty fun though. Uh, I like the Super Monkey Ball series. So then I got probably the coolest game is Octomania, which is kind of like a Tetris style game. Uh, if you've played. Uh, What's uh, Bust a Move, I think? Bust a Move for like PS1 or uh, N64 or whatever. Then it, it's kind of like one of those, or Pokemon Puzzle League. It's kind of like one of those type of games. So it looks really fun. Uh, I looked up gameplay and it looks fun. Looks great. Then from eBay, I finally, <laughs> finally got this game back. Now, let me give you a little backstory. Back when I got my Nintendo Switch, I said, I told myself, if I buy a Switch, I'm selling all my Super Nintendo stuff to help recoup the money that I spent on my Switch, which I regretted because I had some really just amazing games. But I basically got the money back for what I spent on the Switch, plus some, plus a lot some <laughs> but one of those games was Pocky and Rocky I've regretted it ever since because it's just an amazing game if you've never played it it's like a shooter but at the same time it's not uh, I, I've heard people describe it as a cute em up sure it's fantastic the music is great it's super hard I beat the game once it took me like 10 hours Pocky and Rocky uh, it's not in the best shape, but it will focus. There we go. But I, honestly, I don't even care. I got it for a really good price, like really good, like 80 bucks, which is perfectly fine because they've been selling on eBay for like 110. I'm not spending $110 on a game, no matter how much I love it. But now I have the game and the manual. All I need is the box. So if anybody has the box, the Pocky and Rocky, an authentic box. I know there's boxes on eBay for like 12 bucks. No, I want I want the real box. Uh, if anybody has it, wants to work out a deal, let me know. I'll, I'll gladly work out a deal. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys picked up this week. Anything cool, anything not so cool. Just let me know. But with that being said, you guys rock. Stay rad. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.